Hey guys, how's it going? Dushan here from How to Rhino. I have a special treat for you today. You're modeling Tesla Cybertruck. Yes, I know this is not architecture related, but over 92% of you guys said that you'd like to see something like this. So let's go. Okay, so this is Tesla Cybertruck. This is how it looks like if you've never seen it before. And now we're gonna start with the drawings. We're gonna have all the drawings set up already. We're gonna have the base plan, side views, and we're simply going to start from the top. We're going to create one a line, a one roof line, and then we're going to extend that line. Make only we're only going to make one half of the vehicle. Then we're gonna mirror it. Now we're putting the all the lines in the position. We're going to extend uh, for, for the front part. We're gonna trim it, and then we're going to transition to the side view. You can see that I'm following here the lines of the vehicle, and then I'm slowly creating one piece at a time. I'm creating here the windows. I'm cutting the windows creating the depth of the windows and a little bit of uh, detailing. Here we're creating the front part of that uh, side window and making the thickness to be a little bit uh, pronounced so we have more details uh, on the vehicle. Then we're gonna start with the side, uh, with the bottom part of the vehicle. I'm going to create uh, one big surface and then based on this surface, we're going to go to the front view and we're going to cut it and uh, as you can see, I'm tracing over the uh, over the wheels so that I have the surface to use the trim command. I'm gonna trim these surfaces and then we're going to have all of these uh, surfaces created based on uh, these lines that we have from the front view. So now, as you can see, we have those. And now this is the part where I'm actually creating a little bit of uh, thickness and to have a little bit more detail to the places where the, the, the car is opening, where the the doors are opening so I'm creating a little bit of thickness there so we have uh, a little bit more details uh, on the side of the vehicle and you can see here how that uh, looks like I'm actually extracting a lot of surfaces I'm adding um, uh, new things here uh, we're going to create uh, for example if I forgot to create uh, these door, door handles and this is the process to create the door handles I'm adding a little bit uh, more details in it I'm extracting the surface and now we're going to the bottom part we're creating this uh, place where uh, this side needs to bend a little bit and uh, from this point uh, we have a one additional element that we want to do on the side here is the extrusion of these uh, wheel bells we're actually creating those so that uh, they're actually extruded inward and then we're going to later modify them now i'm using the simple plane to cut them and to position them all in place and here I actually made a mistake and this happens because you know you, you can never model something perfectly from the first time so I'm actually correcting my mistake and here I'm actually showing you how to do this exactly because it can happen to you as well and then you need to know how to solve that uh, particular problem in this case uh, it was a, a quick fix and you can see that I just positioned all of those uh, vertices on the exact points here we're creating the uh, the back plate of the of the wheel bells and now we're moving to the back part uh, we're creating the the plane that we're cutting the plane and now I'm creating those uh, extrusions are actually indents inside and now you can see here how we can move those surfaces inward and uh, so they are actually uh, normal to the, to the uh, original surface this is the creation of the small lights in the back and now I'm going to trim here I'm going to extend uh, the back part, trim it, and then slightly modify this end. As you can see here, it's not matching perfectly, but we're uh, creating this easy fix. This is the place where we will put the uh, the plates, and then uh, once once we have all of that, we're gonna cover it on the back. This is also the the bottom part of the vehicle where you will uh, create uh, surfaces. And also, I made a mistake here, so I came back to this a little bit later, and I created this from one single surface. Now in this uh, this part, I'm creating those uh, back lights, those LED lights, and I'm actually offsetting uh, the the curves uh, on the on the surface itself, and then extruding it inward, and then we're creating additional surfaces right there inside that surface. This is the place where our material for the light will go, and it, as you can see here, I'm speaking too fast. I'm trying to keep up, and now okay, this is this is the the mistake I was telling you about. Uh, now I tried to, to fix it there and now we're moving to the front part and we're adding a little bit of details for the front glass and you can see here that we also have a, a little bit of mismatching but that's all, all fine because we can easily fix that we can merge all faces and then here is the position where uh, you put the 
the back glass. Now we're moving on to the front part. We're doing the same procedure we did uh, with the last one. We created one surface and then we trim the rest. And now this is the, uh, the, the place where we create those front lights. Uh, we're doing a little bit of measurement to see what is the best fit according to the, uh, to the drawings and to the image that, uh, that we have. And uh, once we are finished with that, then we're gonna create those, uh, that front bumper area. And uh, in addition to this, we're going to create a little bit of uh, extrusion here uh, regarding the front light. So it has that depth that gives it a little bit more uh, realism so that we can add those lights uh, later on. Now we're going here to the front lights. There is also one uh, element here that we need to fix. We want to have that uh, angle to be the same as the drawings. And this is what's, what's happening now. We're doing the same procedure as we did on the top lights. We're extruding this and then we're going to cut it and we're going to create inside uh, those additional lights. And you can see now that we're going to use the same procedure we used for the back light. Uh, we're going to create the same type of uh, light for the front. Uh, now you're going to uh, see how that happens. This is a little bit, uh, this is a small fix that I created here in, on the edge. And this is the place where we create that front light. I uh, did offset on surface a couple of times and then we create that nice uh, effect of that depth. And uh, then we're, gonna, we're going to cover uh, the bottom front part. And once, once, we're, or once we're done with that, the last thing that we need to achieve here is uh, to create those fog lights on the bottom. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy. As you can see, we just uh, inset a couple of surfaces inside. And now, and now is the fun part, uh, is the, the time when you create the wheels. Uh, Cybertruck wheels are very, very uh, complex, as you can see, and it's really important to know the right procedure. So what we use here, we use the command called a flow along surface, and this allows us to create, for example, here we're creating a profile for our wheel, and then we're going to use revolve command to create this profile um, and to be in 3D. And here we're actually creating a little bit of details, so that is all filleted nice. And once we have that, then you can see now that I'm going to create this using the revolve command and uh, we're, going, we're going to be using uh, unrolling surface command to create the, those details on the front wheel. And this is, you, you can see here that I actually extruded those and now I applied those uh, exactly on this, on, this, on this wheel. And then at the end, we're going to use, uh, we're going to apply all of those details onto our uh, main main wheel and this is the part where we create this a uh, detailing effect on our tire it's really uh this is really uh interesting part because it all comes down to scaling extruding then you, we, we mostly use sweep 2 for this we use planner surface and we're trying to uh to create all of the surfaces uh we we need to uh to join all these surfaces so they are uh, actually one joint surface here you can see that i'm actually doing all of those uh, details on the side and then uh, the last thing that we need to do here is we need to create a detail for this one uh, element that you can see. But And then we will simply uh, use uh, array polar command to distribute this evenly because there's seven of these uh, parts. And once, like as I said, just we need to create one. And then once we have uh, that one ready, then you can see how I applied all of those and they're pretty much ready. And now uh, what I'm doing here, I'm actually creating this additional edge that I forgot to create in my initial uh, CAD drawing. So I'm trying to figure out what is the best way to do this. And this is uh, the result. And then we extrude the surface inward and we have exactly the same type of effect that we have here on the left side that you can see in the image. This is a small fix where I'm trying to, to make a little bit more details to be a little bit more, more uh, realistic. And once that is done, we just need to mirror this on both sides and we have our um, Cybertruck wheel. The last thing that we need to do is simply to apply it in the position, to copy it on the side, and then uh, now we're actually modifying those those wheel bells to make them more uh, like deeper. And here we need to just to mirror it, and that's it. And we got our Tesla Cybertruck done in under 10 minutes. Imagine that. Yes, I know in reality this took me around two hours to model. If you'd like to see that, you can do so on our Patreon page. And please let me know in the comments if you like this type of videos in the future. If you're interested, I will do part two and maybe even part three. Yeah. <laughs>